Good evening. Here is the world news from BGI TV. Baba Bagede Imo TV. I am Salut Olafumi Ajikade. First year the major headlines for the world news. Nigeria ranked third worst place globally to be laid off. IGP complied with court order escape being thrown into prison. Avoid the necessary journeys. NYC acting AG wants corps members. Ogun, like Oshu, said to declare public holiday for traditionalist day. Naira notes, EFCC been public debunk via video. Terrorists killed three in fresh southern Kaduna attack. Terrorists kidnapped four vehicles filled with passengers in Kaduna state. Now on foreign, Ghana's president tells Buhari other African leaders to stop begging for aid. And lastly, on sport, I never told I would play for Man City. Now hear the news in details. Nigeria has been ranked the third worst place in the world for workers to be laid off. Nigeria ranked third world country with a 1.90-10 layoff score behind Puerto Rico and the United States of America, according to a report published by Lensa, a career advisory website. The report explained that despite enforcing the four slash nine redundancy rules, Nigeria still does not guarantee employees any severance package on being laid off. The report claims that after a year of employment, businesses in Nigeria give employees at least a week notice before firing them. In the third place ranks Nigeria with a 1.90 slash 10 layoff score. Nigeria enforces four slash nine redundancy rules. However, still does not guarantee you any severance package and the report. You do not at least get a notice period one week for employees with one year of tenure and 4.3 for employees with over five. The Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, has escaped being committed to the prison for contempt after complying with court order. This comes after a federal high court in Abuja vacated his time in November 29, 2022, really ordering the IGP to be thrown into prison. Justice Walaji Olajuwon, in a ruling on Wednesday, held that there was evidence before a court that the IGP had substantially complied with the court earlier ordering directing the restatement of an officer, Patrick Okoli, who was compulsorily retired. Justice Olajuwon well, held in a view of the redevelopment, the application by the IGP seeking the vacation of a commuter order is worthy of sympathetic consideration. Olajuwon well, said in a view of substantial compliance with the code and the assurance of ensuring food compliance, the order committee, the applicant, IGP Usman Al-Kali Baba, is ever set aside. The judge lay out in the November 29 ruling convicted the IGP and sentenced him to a three-month jail term for falling to obey the October 24, 2011 judgment of the Federal High Court. House members has been warned if avoid unnecessary journeys and obtain approval from the National Youth Service Corps, NYC travel is necessary during the service year. The Acting Director General of the National Youth Service Corps, Christy Uber, gave the warning while addressing the 2022 Basis Stream 2 course members at Shokoto State Orientation Camp in Wamoko. She said any course member who travel without permission from the NYC will be sanctioned in line with calls by laws. Uba also advised the course members to board vehicles from only designated motor paths and avoid the temptation of boarding vehicles by the roadside. Don't board vehicles by the roadside, avoid free rides and make sure you don't endanger yourselves. She said, Uber advised the call members to use the opportunity of the orientation calls to, case, to cause inter-tribal relationships that will promote national unity and integration. Ahead of the next issue date next year, the August State Governor, Dr. Abeldum, has entered his plan to grant the request of traditionalists by declaring a public holiday for Isheshe Day. The Governor gave the hint in Abeokuta during a day workshop on campaign against racial killing and cockery organized by the state's alternate 
Mount St. Bond, OGAMB, in the conjunction with the State Command of Nigerian Police. Platform times go that the Oshun has set aside a day for the Sheshe Day during the administration of former governor of Oshun State, Rahuf Areguishola. Going the way of Oshun State, Abiodu said an executive order on the declaration of Sheshe Day was being considered. A statement issued by his chief power secretary, Kunle Shomori read on Isheshe Day celebration in the state. Governor Abiodo assured that he would sign an executive order to that effect. Meanwhile, the state government also said it is strongly considering the establishment of College of Complementary and Traditional Medicine to standardize the training of traditionals in the state and reduce the rate of racial killings in the country. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Macaulay Office, Abenue State Police Command, have de debunked the report trending on social media of alleged discovery of old narrow notes in the capital city. The video shows hack of perceived old narrow notes discovered inside big container round water markets in on Tuesday. But an official of the anti graphs agency who did not want to mention seeds. It was not authorized to speak, so the office got information. A sack of ordinary notes and deployed his men to the place but discovered that they were condemned notes from the Central Bank of Nigeria. He said it is true we had information of ordinary notes that we were going to obtain a search warrant. On getting there, we found those condemned narrow notes. The owner of the ordinary notes said he bought them from the CBN. The old notes has been called into pieces and screws. It is not money at all. I will send the picture of the contents in the site they were discovered to see to see to the world. The official told our correspondent on the phone on Tuesday evening. A fresh attack has been launched in Southern Kaduna in Park, a Malagun community scoural local government area of Kaduna State by terrorists on Tuesday. Mr. Bawa Emmanuel, the President Kaura Youth Coalition, confirmed the attack in a statement on Tuesday. He explained that the two persons were killed by the terrorists on their farm, while the third person were killed in his house. He lamented that the gruesome attack and killings of the three persons were coming to a wake of the killing of Mrs. Victoria Shimet, who was killed in a house in Manko, Kaura local government area. He explained the attack to Kaura local government area have been consistent and multi-dimensional with the effort of security operatives and government not seen or felt. Martin Seaman, the council chairman, who also confirmed the incident, stated the military operatives were trading the suspect with a view of bringing them to pay the full right of the law. Sarah reporters lent that the terrorist has reportedly kidnapped scores of bus passengers along the Kiyaya Kiti Road in Cardinal State. Sarah reporters lied that although the incident occurred on December 12th, the victims are still with their abductors. According to reports, the government accosted four vehicles on their way to Abuja and abducted the passengers. The kidnappers started calling the families of their victims and demanding a ransom with the range of 10 million naira to 50 million naira, it's all said. On December 12th, between Kiaya and Kiti in Kaduna State, about 12 vehicles traveling was agile and some passengers were abducted in broad daylight. It was further revealed that the kidnappers voluntarily released a nursing mother 10 days after the incident and killed two victims who attempted to escape. Moving to the foreign news. Ghanaian President Nana Akufo Addo has called on President Omar Dubari and other African leaders to stop begging for foreign aid and allow the continent to assume its rightful position in the world. According to the Mr. Akufo Addo, at the ongoing three day US African leader summit, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, and all the have it takes to make the continent great. He said it was time African leaders stop being begging to develop world and concentrated on spending African money on the continent. Africa are more resilient outside the continent than inside. We must bear in mind that the outside world, not like Nigeria, Ghana or Kenya, we are simply Africans. 
Our destiny as people depends on each other, the Ghana president explained. And lastly, on sport. Super Eagles forward Keleshi Iannacho has revealed that he was shocked when he held the Man City akin for his signature. Iannacho, who was a bright light for the Nigerian's Golden Eagles at the 2013 FIFA Under-17 World Cup, stated that he doubted if he would play regular football at Manchester City. I was not too keen on the move. I didn't believe that it was going to happen. Ian Natural told LCLC while describing his feelings upon hearing the news that the Manchester club were interested in signing him. After the only 17th World Cup, I was looking at going to all the teams in Europe, but they said I was going to Manchester City. I was surprised and saying, how can I go down to that massive team? Am I going to play? I said I wouldn't go and they should take me to a smaller team. That concludes the world news for this hour. But before we go, here's some of the major headlines once again. Nigeria ranked third worst place globally to be laid off. IGV complied with court order, escaped being thrown into prison. Avoid unnecessary journey, NYC Axi DG World Cup members. Ogun, like Oceanside, to declare public holiday for traditionalist day. ERCC Venray police debunk fire video. Terrorist film three in French Southern Cardinal attack. To join us on all our social media handles on Facebook as Bagade Imo with Alawie at Devayo. Share and follow. And on Instagram as Bagade Imo underscore 22. Share and follow as well. And on YouTube as Baba Bagade Imo TV. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn your post notification bell and for the placement of the advert call the number showing on the screen thanks so much for always watching our news on vgi tv i am salut ola for me adike ade bye oh, da, 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 da. if you want to know what's going on in city uh, or you want to listen to the latest news and gist no stress oh just into vgi tv BGI time, you're one in a million.